Okay, boom, we're live, guys. All right, so get this class started. All right, so whatever you want to do for 30 seconds, we're going to be starting in three, two, one, and go. You can jog in place, get the blood pumping a little bit. If you want to do jumping jacks, you can do that. If you want to do sprints, jump rope, whatever you want to do. All right, we got a 10 second. 10 second rest in between all this stuff we're warming up with. Let's hope you're ready. So when we hit this 30 second, we're gonna be starting uh, left foot forward lunging, lunging front ball kicks, 30 seconds on the right leg. You guys ready for that? Okay, shake it out, here we go. So you're gonna put that right leg in the back, front ball kick, lunge. You got 30 seconds. Ready, go, lunge, kick. Earn that left leg out. Make sure you're breathing. Three seconds. Shake it out. Nice, easy 10 second rest. <laughs> okay, got that left leg next. And let's go. There's the burn. Oh, shake it out. Oh, okay, push ups. 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Sorry, guys. There's no stops. No stops on this train. Just 30 seconds. Well, okay, 10 second stops. 30 seconds of fun. Fun, 30 seconds at a time. We're going back to legs next. All right, time. Ah, get ready for this one. Okay, you're gonna go twist, twist dance, roundhouse kick, twist dance. Roundhouse kick. See all the fun there? So it's like a lunge. It's like a twist dance. All together. All the good stuff that we need. Make sure you're getting that pivot. Woo! Enjoy the 10 second rest. Deep breath. Get the other side. Ready? <clears throat> Let's go. <sighs> Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. Almost there. Oh. Okay, we got sit-ups next. It's gonna be a welcome, <clears throat> welcome break. First one to throw up wins. Might be me tonight. All right, last round, guys. Forward lunge, back kicks. We got 30 seconds to the right, 30 seconds to the left. We are done. Well, relatively speaking. Whoa. 
Oh, don't fall over, don't die. Here we go. Last 30 seconds. Get the other leg. Let's do it. Whoops, forward step. Back lunge, a forward lunge, back kick. One of those eight directions. Ten more seconds. Almost there, guys. Time to shake it out. Nicely done. Oh, have a little sip if you need it. If not, hands in your waist. Oh. Good. Hope and close those arms. Up and back. Right, twist. All right, good. We're gonna pick up that uh, right leg, hug it to your chest. Step forward. Okay, extend that back leg straight behind you. Hands on the inside. to the ceiling and on the outside set that rear heel down straight out that front leg each of those toes bring it in put the leg up I'll get in tight step forward back leg nice and straight lock it out Hands on the inside. Reach the ceiling. Hand on the outside. Straight that front leg out. Reach for those toes. Good. All right, we can do it one more time each side, okay? Ready? Grab that leg, hug it in. Forward. Reach. Outside. Straighten up that front leg, reach. Good, and one more, switch. Step. Hands on the inside. Reach the ceiling. Outside, straighten out that front leg, reach for those toes. All right, good. All right, very nice. Okay, number next, we do some walking quad stretches. So we're just gonna grab a quad. You can do the stationary too, you don't have to walk with this. Okay, and just alternate. Go for about 10. If you wanna walk, you can walk. I won't stop you. Good. All right, we do some walking toe touches. You're going opposite foot, opposite hand. Step forward. Again, about 10. It's like Kung Fu all over again. <clears throat> Very good. Okay, we roll at the hips. So we're gonna just work, you know, 10 small circles with your knee outward. Good, and other direction. And we're done with that. I'm gonna go 10 inward. And other direction. Good. 
Good. All right. Couple big circles. Couple on the neck. And some shoulder shrugs. Forward. All right, shake it out. All right, good job, guys. Warmed up, stretched out, ready for class. Here we go. So, front position. Take a deep breath. All right, right foot on elbows. Go. All right. We're gonna start off some basics. All right, so right hand first, front to knuckle to the nose, chamber that hand across. We're gonna work circular hammer to the groin, okay? So make sure that hammer strike is facing up. Okay, so a circular hammer to the groin, reverse hammer, kind of has the same, same motion, same name. All right, so ready, right hand, go. One, two, go. Go, one, two, go. Punch, hammer, go. Go, 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 good. All right, front to knuckle to the groin, back to knuckle to the face. Front, back. Make sure you're getting those hands back all the way on each of those strikes. Right now, just right, left combo. Go, 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 go. Go. Go ahead, same combo, left hand first. Left, right, okay? One, two, drop and rise. Go, 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 go. Good, okay, add the five, six block, upward block, upward block, front to knuckle, back to knuckle. Next combination, we'll start with the hand that's out, okay? Take your time, we're gonna go a little slow this first couple. All right, big movement, full range of motion. Pull back all the way. It's a small move, but it gets left out a lot in these forms. So this is your time to isolate it, clean it up, get it right, okay? So right hand first, ready, go. Five, six, front, back. Get it all the way back, go. Take your time these first couple, go. Full range of motion. Drop and rise, go. All the way back, go. 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 Good, now we're gonna go a little faster, okay? But your speed is dictated by your skill. So, go whatever pace you can go, doing it correctly, all right? Ready, go. Go. You should feel that touching your ribs four times. Go. You should feel four little hammers on your ribs. Go. Go. Good, hands back. All right, easy enough. Okay, ready? We're gonna go from the horse stance. So come back to horse stance after this movement. You're gonna go kick, land horse stance, punch. Okay, so a little like the Kung Fu stuff, but a lot more karate, okay? In that sense, it's, it's choppier, it's blockier, not nearly as, as mm, simultaneous in this particular instance. But what I want you to get from this is that you're still, there's still this moment where you're sticking that stance and shifting. Being more advanced levels, okay, it should not be separated in the sense of, yes, I'm kicking, landing, punching, but if you notice from that perspective, the weight dies, the weight transfer finishes, and then the punch happens. That's okay, right? Like if you're working on balance, you're working on good form, those things are fine, right? But elevation in, in your skill level, right, requires you understand the harmony of the body and how your weight is moving and how you're generating more force with that dynamics of weight shifting. Does that make sense? So what I want you to focus on, even though we're not moving forward in our stances, okay, when that, when that foot hits the floor, Boom, there's a weight shift. Now I'm centered, so don't mistake this as me shifting over to my, to my side completely, but I'm shifting weight, pop, use that energy in that punch. Okay, so let's give that a shot, ready? Go, kick, boom. Okay, you should feel that, and you should be centered here. Go, kick, boom, center, go. 
Go. Go. Go. Go. Go. Go. Go. Good. Okay. All right. You guys kind of feel that weight. All right. Hopefully you can feel that. All right. When you're moving forward, it's no different. In fact, it's probably even better because your weight is going more forward. This way, our weight was still moving. We're still getting power into the movement. Okay. All right. Ready? Let's go on. <clears throat> Hands back. All right. Left, uh, right hand, downward palm block. Okay. Or strike, depending on how you look at this. We're going to use it a little bit like a strike. Okay. Circular downward palm to the bridge of the nose. Go. 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 All right. Now we'll bring that down more as a block. Okay. Circular, large movement. Sink a little with the stance. Go. 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 See, the thing about training, go in a horse stance, go as awkward as it is, go. It doesn't lie. Okay. It doesn't lie. If you're watching your stance and it's moving and you're shifting and things are not so strong, it's like a, a house of cards, right? Everything just kind of tumbles, right? But if you're locking the stance down and you're, you're rocking those legs tonight and you're solid, you should feel that in your body. You should feel that in your, that translation from the ground up into your arms, into your movements, okay? So we're gonna do kind of the same idea. One, two, adding that palm. So this is gonna circle, block, palm heel. Circle, block, palm heel, okay? Make sense? All right, if you guys have any questions during this uh, session, feel free to just unmute yourself and Throw, throw some words in my ear, okay? Otherwise, we're just gonna rock. All right, here we go. Ready? Go. One, two. Go. 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 Use that push pull. Go. Tight. Ah, I messed it up. <laughs> go. See, I'm talking while I'm doing it. Go. One, two. Go. 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 Good. And this move has generally even more power, right? Because you're stepping out. You're here. Boom. Right? Matter of fact, let's do that. Why not? Okay. So what I want you to do is you're going to go uh, left leg back, left hand block. Right? So left leg back, left hand block. Go. Now I want you to step in that strike. Okay. Now this is going to be challenging because if you're just stepping forward and you're hitting and your stance is narrow and you're not in the right spot, you're going to feel it. Okay. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to hit really, 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 really hard. Okay. I want you to put a lot of power so much so that if you're not in the correct stance, you're going to, you're going to fall over, right? Like in the sense of you're going to like feel that imbalance. Does that make sense? So a lot of people, they do this, you know, backwards and, and rightfully in the way that we train you, you know, get the stance, do the strike. Nothing wrong with that from the beginning standpoint because here, you know, you can identify where you need to go and do the hit. But if you never expect more, right, if you never try to go faster, you're never going to get that step fast enough to develop power in this strike. Does that make sense? It's always going to be this lag, okay? So guess what? You're in, the, you're in the comfort of your own home. The only person to laugh at you is your dog or if you have somebody next to you. And then they should laugh at you, okay? All right? But otherwise, fall over all you want. I'm not going to care, all right? Here we go. So step back, step out, <clears throat> okay, and use the power, all right? Now we're going to go back with the, with the right, back, out, <clears throat> right, with power. Ready, back, out, <clears throat> good, ready, back, out, <clears throat> good, back, out, <clears throat> okay? And again, if you feel like, whoa, this feels weird, it's all right, okay? It's a new level, it's a new you know, way of doing something. Okay, try that a few times on your own. Do like three times each side on your own, okay, and see if you can get more power out of that movement. Okay, go for it. I think I got short over the last couple of weeks, tripping on my pants. It's not good. Keep hoping to get taller. Nice. Yeah, if you have, um, uh, 
you know, if you have a circle of the tiger, right, as you know, that one, that one goes backwards, but the principle is the same. You still, boom, you're hitting with power on the retreat. You can hit hard going in reverse. That's pretty good too, right? Okay, nice job, guys. All right, very good. Let's come back in into position, all right? We're going to work on our sidekick back fist combo, okay? All right, so chamber, right leg, right arm, okay? I want that elbow in your center line. Squeeze that knee across. Pull. Elbow, knee, same line. Fist by the ear, okay? When you throw this back fist, don't let this back fist slump. Don't let it open and circle, okay? Keep it open like this. Elbow point at the target. All right, so out, back fist side kick. Back, squeeze it over again, down, okay? If you're falling over, if you're struggling with balance, so be it. All right, that's your body's way of saying, hey, let's get better at this. Let's get stronger. We're missing something, okay? That's your body's way of telling you. It's all right, okay? Just fight it. Fight it and get better, okay? Good, so go with me. Go at my speed right now. I want you to squeeze out those movements, okay? So when you're doing it, do it with tension. Squeeze out those movements, all right? Find that center. You're rooted into the ground. Planted. Out, squeeze it out, bring it in. All right, just like that. Go up, out, back, down. Go up, out, back, down. Good. Okay, three times on your own, each side. Tight, no moving. Okay, go. Tight, strong. Watch those elbows. Okay, keep practicing, but just pay attention to me a little bit too. That elbow should be not down here. The elbow should be in front of your chin. Okay, then you're drawing a straight line to your target, not slumping it down. Here you're just missing. Boom, plant them into their head. Okay? Yeah, I, what I'll do sometimes in this, I teach this with students, is I'll stick a staff underneath their arm. Okay? So when they throw the back fist, okay, you see that? Okay? A lot of times this is what happens. They just kind of boop, right? Nope, keep that up, okay? It's hard to get the back fist and the side kick out parallel, but that's, for your guys' level, it should be not too, not too terrible. Not too terrible. All right. Okay, nice job. Shake it out. Should be pretty well done with that. All right, very good. Horse dance. All right, strong. Here we go. Ready? All right, we're going to work on some uh, other combinations. All right, one block. Okay, one block. Good. Front to knuckle. All right, two block. Front to knuckle. Make sure that punch is to the groin. Okay, go. Block punch. Go, 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 good. Now from here, okay, we're going to add those blocks, all right, okay, make sure those blocks are blocks, all right, so block, punch, block, block, they should look and feel as though you are stopping something from hitting you, right? So just take it back to the basics, all right? Here we go again. Block, punch, block, block. Strong, strong. And put tension in the arms. Also, see the, the depth. Sometimes what happens is people get really sucked in tight on these movements. Keep them out. Ready? Go. Block, punch, block, block. Other arm. Go. Block, punch, go. Two, three, four. Go. One, two, three, four. Go. Breathe. Go. 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 Good. Shake it out. Very nice. Okay, good. Spear hand to the groin. So we're going to work that supported spear hand. Sink, drop, cross hammer strike. So we're dropping, boom. Other side. Okay. Uh oh. All right. It's good to work some of these right and left. Okay. So right hand spear poke first. Ready? Go. Spear, cross hammer. Now the other hand. Go. Spear. Cross hammer. Go. Take your time. We'll go a little slow. Go. Go. 
Good. Now add a thrust punch. Son of a. Okay. All right. So it's going to be spear, hammer, thrust. Spear, hammer, thrust. Okay. You with me? <laughs> I'll cue you. Okay. Here we go. Right hand first. Spear. Boom. Hammer. Boom. Thrust. Spear. Left hand. Hammer. Right hand. Thrust. Left hand. Go. One, two, three. Should be some rise and fall there. Go. 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 Nice. Shake it out. All right. Give those legs a break for a minute. Okay. Because we're really going to need them <laughs> in a second. Okay. All right. So we're going to work on these wing blocks. All right. So this movement is a lot of leg. Okay. You're put like, it actually a lot like the Kung Fu. Okay. When you're going from horse stance to bow stance. Okay. So if you remember from doing some Kung Fu, you're shifting from horse to bow, from horse to bow, right? Only this is, a, I think, a little bit more challenging in the sense of when you're shifting horse to bow, your body weight is going, your, your, your body is turning in the direction of that, that forward leg. Well, with these, it's, it's the opposite. So you're kind of pulling yourself, keeping your focus towards that long leg, right, as you, as you work on that block, okay? So we're going to work on that movement, okay? So what I want you to do is we're going to go from horse stance, and you're going you're gonna to wrap that that um, uh, crane's beak, right, and that chicken wrist onto the hip, all right, you're gonna shift and you're gonna block with that, with that right, okay, all right? And then we're gonna shift, and we're gonna block with the left, all right? And you're pushing, pushing, right? Pushing, and you're, and you're shifting that weight onto the other leg, all right? The legs are gonna be on fire, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time. All right, ready, here we go. To the, uh, to the left, so right leg extension. Ready, go. Good, now check out those movements. Lock that leg out, now we're gonna switch, go. Go, 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 go. Good, nice job, okay, very good, very good. All right, nice, okay, ready? Now, <clears throat> what I wanna do next is um, we're gonna work on hinging back with this movement, because I wanna work on some footwork, okay? So, all right, kinda of like you would do DT2, right? But a much longer, longer step, okay? So take your left leg and step back, and you can get both hands ready here. Lean and block, lean and block, okay? So again, we're gonna go back now with the opposite. Step, lean and block. Good, reset. Step, lean and block. Good, now another thing that happens often in this movement is People lean their body, right? Okay, so relax for a minute just so you can kind of watch. Okay, so when you lean, don't tip your body. Now, there are some movements in, in our system um, that do require that, that lean, like pinion number five, for example, okay, where you actually want your ear over top of your knee. So there are some movements where we want that length and straightness from the ear all the way to the heel, okay? This is not one of those movements, okay, because we're rotating and we're blocking, right? So as I lean, I wanna keep my body straight, right? So when I block, okay, I can rotate. I can rotate this way still. Does that make sense? Okay, so be cautious that when you're leaning, you're not leaning by the head, but you're leaning with the stance. You're shifting the weight, okay? All right, that was your break. Okay, here we go. <laughs> ready? So get those hands ready. Step back, lean, block. Okay, from here, I want you to sh draw that foot in, cat. Okay, now, here's what I don't wanna see, or we typically try not to see, is this, but we see it all the time. Okay, what I want you to do is this. Okay, so, step out. Good, all right, step out. Boom, okay, half moon. All right, ready? Now the other leg, step, lean, cat, Step, strike, half moon, ready, step, lean, cat, step, strike, half moon. You see how this works? Okay, so one whole side now, go. But we're working on the technique, 
Look at your step. Good. Reset. Go. Step, lean. Cat. Step, strike. Good. Now also make sure that when you go to draw into cat, okay, that your hands come back. All right, this happens a lot too, where strikes come from here. Okay, right? Pull back. Cat, reset the hands, step, boom. And much like we talked about in the beginning, if you can step, right, step, and put power into that step, do that, okay? All right, we're gonna do three more times each side. Ready? So right leg back, go. And then reset, go. And reset, go. More. Good. Shake it out. All right. Nice job. Okay. We're going to do one more little thing with this, uh, this ba these basics. Okay. We're going to do some elbows. All right. So hang tight with there. Right? Roundhouse elbow. Ready? Go. Good. Go. Good. Now, that elbow needs to clear the center line. So, putting my elbow in the middle, or this isn't even center. Here's center. I'm just showing the elbow. I'm like, hey, look at my elbow. Okay? Here, they got a little touch. Here, they got a full broken jaw. All right? So, that elbow should be crossing the center line every time you, th you hit it. Okay? Ready? Go. Go. Now that's more to do with the shoulders rotating. Go, 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 go. Now double those elbows. Go, go, go. Good. Now we're gonna go single elbow, thrust, thrust, double punch. Then the other elbow, thrust, thrust, double punch. So you work that whole sequence. Just obnoxious amounts of power. Okay. We're gonna do four. So I want you to empty your tank out. We'll refill it in a minute, okay? But give me some serious power and, and don't shortcut the push-pull, right? When you're firing these strikes, okay, there's a ton of transfer of energy in this movement. Boom. Now this one has to stick. So unfortunately, there's not much there. But this is where you have to learn how to build power from confined spaces. You don't get the luxury of big space all the time, okay? Here we go. Right hand. Ready? Go. <laughs> Okay, now the other hand. Go. 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 Good. Nice. Shake it out. All right. Good job, guys. You guys should be a little sweaty by now. If you're not, no, I know you will be. I know you're sweaty. I know you are. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. So we're going to do pinion number one. We're going to do it together by the moves. Okay. All right, so um, for the sake of viewing, uh, I'm gonna flip myself around, okay? And I'm gonna do with my back to you, going the same direction as you guys, okay? Um, one time together by the moves, and then I'm gonna do it one time, I'm gonna key eye for you by the moves, and watch and see your power and see your awesomeness pull through, okay? So, here we go. Really give me some, some power on this stuff, guys, right? So opinion number one, first move, go! That's an energy movement, right? Get the energy from that. Go. 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 And we're going to step right into that block. Go. I want you to work on transferring power into those punches with those stances. Go. So right into the block. Go. Into the punch. Go. Every time. Go. Moving your body. Go. All the way through the block. Go. 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 Okay. So, you know, when we do it like from a beginner standpoint, key I hold the cat, key I step out block. You know, this is advanced class. You need to work on transferring energy like we talked about, transferring weight. So when I key eye, you're not going to hold any of the cats. 
they're still there, but they're going to be more fluid, okay? And putting body weight. And if you feel a little off balance, it's okay. That's part of learning how to, how to walk again, right? But with stronger legs than you had before, hopefully, okay? So here we go. By the moves, I'm going to watch you this time wherever you are. Okay, ready? Here we go. First move, use this breathing exercise to build energy. Go, breathe. Go, through the cat. Boom, go, go. All the way through to that block. Go, don't be afraid. Put some body into it. Go, and ki eye. Go, punch, go, punch, go, punch. Go, all the way through the block. Go. Go. All the way through the block. Boom. Go. And punch. Go. Through the block. Ki -yai. Go. You should be scaring people in your house. Go. Go. Good. Nice stances. Go. All the way through the block. Go. Into the punch. Go. 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 Finish. And together. Good, nice job, very good, very good, very good. Okay, all right, so work on that. Okay, there's a balance, you know, always between technique and power, right? In the, in the progression, it's technique, power, speed, all right? <clears throat> but at some point, you gotta try, right? And so, you know, yes, when you start working on more power, your technique is gonna wean a little bit, it's gonna be a little off, okay? But then what happens is, it's like learning to, um, learning to operate, with the volume up high, right? At first you're like, it's like going to a concert, right? If concert first starts blaring, you're like, oh my God, I think my ears are gonna start bleeding. And then by the end of the concert, you're like totally accustomed to it. And you walk out of the concert, you can't hear anything, just this big ringing sound, right? But your body acclimated to that. So now you're used to being at a high volume, okay? Right, so lots of power, right? It's a higher volume, you're gonna feel some instability, but then eventually your body's gonna acclimate and you'll start to learn how to move and hit harder if necessary, right? Which is good. Okay, we're gonna move on to pinion number two. All right, we're only gonna go up through pinion three, so don't worry, we're not doing all of them tonight. Save some for the next night, okay? All right, so pinion number two, together first time, okay? Ready? Go! Go! <clears throat> go! <clears throat> go! <clears throat> Go. There's more power in this one. Go, because the drop. Go. 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 Go, 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 very good, all right, you guys ready, catch your breath, all right, here we go, ready, first move, ready, go, go, all the way through the block. Go. Sink into that punch. Go. Through the block. Go. Punch. Go. Through the block. Go. Two punches. High, low. Go. Power. Work that push pull. Go. Go. All the way through the block. Go. Back to your knuckle. Go. Go. Big movements, push, pull, every time. Go, you should feel four hammers touching those ribs. Go, big movement, big movement, power. Go, through the block. Go, block and punch. Go, go, block and punch. Go, finish. Good, yeah, nice. So again, you know, as you start to put more into this, right, you're, it's, it's, you're, you're putting more out, right? You got to fill that tank back up. So that breathing that you do in the beginning, okay, and at the end, that's designed purposefully. Bring in energy. At the end, let all that excess energy out, right? Let it all out. 
So you can start kind of at a nice even pace all over again, right? And when you start to kind of train longer, you start to build, you know, a little more of, um, I guess, an awareness of the, of the internal arts, the internal part, right? The chi, right? And so, you know, that's part of that, that chi is, all right, bring that energy in, let the energy out, start over, right? And you should be able to kind of have a, a pretty normal heart rate a fairly normal heart rate as you start to build your your internal energy and your internal internal skills at the end I'm not saying there's not times you're sucking air trying to find out how not to throw up again right but you know again that's part of your your training so again there's an internal side too okay guys moving on cotta number one all right cotta one ready lots and lots of power work on when you're again when you're landing kick boom punch kick Boom, punch. This is an awesome form because there's all this, all this transfer. Boom, all of this transfer in, in, in so many parts of this form because it's not as rooted as pinion one and two are, right? So there's more like step, land, shift. So feel that and feel, feel that, bring it, bring it into it a little bit, okay? All right, here we go. Ready? First move. Go. Yes. Go. Kick. Punch. Go, 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 one, two, three, go, together, step, block, go, 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 one, two, three, kick, go, block, strike, go, 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 Go. See. Okay. All right. Ready? So by the steps. All right. This one's a little more sequential. Okay. So I'll kind of cue you where to go. So you have a focus and where to, where to end. Okay. Here we go. Ready? First move. First move. Ready? Go. All right. You're going to go kick punch. Go. Kick punch. Go. Good, you're gonna turn around, block, block, punch. Go, so you're stepping out right away. Boom, boom, boom. Good, go. Together and block. Go, together and block. Go, guard. Go, all the way to the spear poke. You're gonna go all the way to the kick. Go, block, palm, kick. Go, turn around, block, strike. Go. First side, go, sidekick back fist. Go, next side, go, sidekick back fist. Go, finish. Good, yep, yeah. That one's a little more fun to kind of do on your own, a little harder with me, but you know, you can always do this again and kind of find your own rhythm, right? That allows you to push yourself through those, those movements, okay? All right, and by the way, all right, it's a point I like to make sometimes, so we're kind of catching our breath here, okay? And again, this isn't, this is not a, a, a a fault of yours by, by any means. This is just, this is the truth of how this works, right? Practicing versus training. You are fully capable of training on your own. It takes a lot more discipline to do that and, or some guidance, right? So for example, you know, if you're doing your forms and you know, you're kind of going through them, you're walking through the movements, you know, that's okay. Like in terms of retention, right? So you'll remember what you're doing, hopefully, right? <clears throat> you'll remember when the next move. Okay. And, and you know, that's okay. Do that one time, right? Maybe twice if it's a bit of a newer form, okay? But then you got to go, all right, well, how do I build, how do I develop this thing? And not just the form, but the form is developing you. You're, it's one and the same, right? It's not like, oh, let me make this form good, okay? The form is a reflection of you, okay? So it's not about, oh, I got to make this form good because I got to get to my next level. And by having this form look better, then, it, then it'll get me to the next level. That's not, that's not it. That's, you're missing the point, right? The point is, this is a reflection of, of you and your ability, Okay. And I'm not saying you have to be this graceful, beautiful, elegant forms person. Some people just aren't forms people and that's fine. You know, you don't have to be this graceful ballerina. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. I'd rather you be raw and mean and nasty and hurdy, right. Than be graceful and pretty. There is a subtleness to the, the forms. And, and yes, that's that, that shit it, it, that smooths out the rough edges, which is why forms are an important part of your training. But what they're building, you know, what you're building from doing the form is more valuable than the form itself. Does that make sense? Because it's, it's, can you do it? You know, are you, do you have the capacity to, to sit there and I'm going to train on this thing. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to create the feeling that I feel now by myself. 
right? Now, it's not always the same because, again, everyone needs a trainer, right? I need a coach. I need a trainer. I need a sensei. I need a sifu, right, um, to better myself, right? Even though I've been doing this for 20 years, it doesn't, that doesn't automatically make you good, right? Okay, you have to have somebody to help make you better. And so, so doing this class hopefully gives you something you can go, oh, all right, now let me go and practice my forms the way that, that I feel now, and now I can do that on my own. Right. And, and, you know, it'll be good for a while. And then maybe you'll have to go back and we'll do it again and you'll get better. And that's just the way it works. Right. It's just a progression, but you know, use this as an opportunity to go, all right, how do I, how do I transfer this into the next thing? Okay. All right. Okay, guys, one more. We're going to opinion number three. All right. So here we go. By the moves. <clears throat> Ready? Go. Gather, go, kick, lean, cat, step, strike, together, go, kick, lean, cat, step, strike, go, punch, go, elbow, go, elbow, go, elbow, go, elbow, go, punch, punch, lock, strike, go. Wow. Okay, all right, guys. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, all right. Here's my challenge to you, okay? Try to stay with that same sequence as best you can, okay? Get a little off, no big deal, all right? But I want you to empty your gas tank on this form. All right, we're gonna cool down after this, okay, a little bit. But I want you to really give it all you got. You, you know, pull from that energy, <sighs> okay? It comes from here up and out of the body okay every movement all right here we go ready first move go breathe knuckle roll press build that energy go block go punch go double block go turn block go punch go double block go cup and saucer go back fist go spear hand Go, spin around, hammer. Go, thrust. Go, feet together. Go, kick. Lean, cat, step, strike. Every stance, go, together. Go, kick. Lean, cat, step, strike. Go, together. Go, kick. Lean, cat, step, strike. Go, half moon punch, lots of power. Go, half elbow. Go, step elbow. Go, twist elbow. Go, jump elbow. Go, punch, punch. Go, block, punch. Go, finish. Breathe. Good. Nice job, guys. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right, take it out. Okay, good work. All right. So, covered, uh, um, you know, beginner, beginner, uh, beginner forms, basically a little bit intermediate. All right. So Thursday we'll, um, we'll, we'll pick up from there. All right. So we'll work on two kata, uh, two kata and up. We'll probably do a few, maybe not all of them, but we'll definitely pick a few. All right. And, um, and we'll, we'll drill through them. All right. So what I'd like to do tonight is finish with, um, finish with some Tai Chi. Okay. And uh, we'll do the same thing on Thursday a little bit. We'll push it hard in the beginning. All right. And then we'll kind of come down with a little bit of some internal, um, some internal development. Okay. So what I want to do to begin with is just kind of give you some movement, some hand movement to kind of practice. Okay, um, this may or may not build into a, a, a bit of a a bit of a tai chi set. Okay, but I want you to focus more on just the movement right now. Get the coordination down. Get the breathing down, and we'll kind of add to this as we go. Okay, so what I want you to do, um, if you have like most of you have ten point blocking, right? And so there's that sequence of ten point blocking where you're kind of doing these circles. Okay, so we're gonna do something very similar to that. So. I want you to take, you can go right or left on top, doesn't really matter. You're gonna circle, okay, and you're gonna create this little ball, all right, right at your center, all right? 
And then we're gonna do the same, rotating the other direction. And we're gonna create this little ball right here, just like that, okay? So we're gonna breathe in, breathe out. Good, knees bent slightly, breathe in. Out. Good. When you breathe, breathe into the nose. Out. The out should also be through the nose. Okay. Keep the um, for the most part, your your lips should stay closed. Okay. Teeth not tight, not clenched, but loose, loosely together. Tongue loosely to the roof of your mouth, okay? But nothing should be forced, okay? As you breathe out, again, mostly through the nose. If you need to push a little through the mouth, that's okay too, all right? But mostly through the nose, okay? When you look, look forward. Don't stare. Don't look at one thing. Relax your gaze, look forward, and it should, you should almost kind of blur out your vision to, to a sense, right? And kind of just uh, see everything with seeing nothing, right? Okay, breathe in, right? In. Good, so we're gonna add a movement, right? So in, out. Okay, the bottom hand is going to push up. So the hands on the bottom is gonna lift. And I'm gonna turn my body. You can even, I'll step back so you can see me. You can even take a little bit of a step, right? As you do that, okay? So your hands almost kind of pulling apart, all right? So as the one hand goes up, the other hand goes down, to the hip, all right? Then the hands come back into the center and circle the other direction. In, so now that's all gonna be in, out. Center to the circle, in, out. Now we're gonna move our feet, okay? So as we're circling, we're gonna draw, okay, the bottom hand, the bottom side in, and now take a step out. Okay, then we're gonna center, circle, bring that foot in, okay? So it matches, right? This one in, this one in, step out. Okay, as the hands come to the center, I'm also gonna turn that foot back to the center. Begin my circle the other way. Bring it in. Step out. Okay, back to center. Now I'm breathing in. Gathering, out, release. Center, in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. A couple more. In. Out. In, out. Good, nice job, guys. In, recover, out. Good, all right, nice job. Okay, guys, good work tonight. Um, hopefully, uh, you had a good workout, a little bit of a sweat. Uh, we'll uh, continue on Thursday.